you know, expense is not a bad word. Expense is not a bad word. Expenses. This was actually a breakthrough for me recently. Being someone that's been in the finance space for so many years, oftentimes I, I lean more towards not having a budget. I, I don't have a budget person. I just simply know where my money goes. I know what my expenses are. When I work with clients, some clients have budgets, some don't. So I always meet my clients where they're at. But when it comes to the word expenses, both my clients and myself usually have a negative view over, in my mind, I'm either always figuring out how, to, how can I reduce, optimize my expenses. But the feelings are usually not you know, so positive. Whereas Garrett helped me realize, he, he said, what what good is money without expense? That was the first point he made. Second point he made was, the only thing you can do with money is spend it. Whether that's save, tithe, the only thing that you can do with money is spend it. So it's an expense. If we can change our behavior around expense, his point, being that if if we would just figure out how can we show up more abundantly in the market how can we be more effective how can we be more confident and have more authority over our skills gifts and talents into the marketplace your expenses are going to be less of a worry and you're not going to be wasting your time energy and focus on how to scrap remove reduce because when you when you put on that mentality you're also reducing your performance confidence authority mastery skills talent like time that you could have spent driven there, you were worried about, oh, my expenses are going. Me getting into this new home, my expenses went up. I now have bills that are more expensive because I'm now in so if I, if I make the error or mistake or inefficient move to spend too much time on my expenses, my ability to create, to be creative, to be abundant, be a giver, to be confident, to have a bargain, it's going to reduce because of